Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. I have been asked uh, via email if there is a way to use Visual Synth from Imaginando inside Logic Pro for iPad. Um, this video is about that, or at least one way that you can use to achieve that, because it's not straightforward. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe, as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So let's create a project. Let's click on Tracks, and um, let's select Pattern, and let's click on the three dot, and yeah, let's leave the default patch for now, and let's click on Create. Now, let's go to the uh, browser. Let's browse a different uh, instrument that uh, I prefer. So like that one, Hard Bass House. Click and drag and drop uh, on that button track. Okay, let's close the browser. Now, we, the editor is already open here for the button. Okay. Um, let's go for the kick number one and let's create a button. We do the same for the snare here. Then we scroll down. And we do the same for a hi-hat. Okay, perfect. Next, what I want to do is to change the MIDI channel for uh, each um, of uh, the different uh, um, sounds here so that I will use different media channel to activate different visual inside uh, visual synth so for kick one channel number one is fine for uh, snare we go for channel number two like so and then for hi-hat channel number three perfect now let's click play Okay, so let's close that editor. Everything sounds good so far, and this is just an example, of course. Now, let's create an additional track, and let's create another pattern, but let's click on the free dot and select for patch instrument none, and then click create. Okay, so inside, let's close the editor view and also the plugins view. As you can see, um, it's empty. You don't have a... Um, region here and also if you click on the editor back again you see just notes uh, for now but don't worry I will explain how um, the step sequencer works in an upcoming tutorial so what you want to do is uh, click here for copy click here on the region click again and move it down here so we copy that region okay now again if you play and let's put these in a loop Nothing's changed. If I mute the first track, you don't hear anything because on the second track there is no instrument associated to it, okay? Now, and this is the beauty of it, because if I select the first track and then I go on plugins, you see that um, against um, the top hard bass house there is nothing, and but you cannot select an instrument, you can only select audio effect. Of course, you can uh, uh, scroll down to kick number one and you find a quick sampler, which, of course, you can uh, replace that. But if you replace that, and with, for example, with uh, a visual synth, then you would have to replace with another visual synth uh, for each one of the different sounds. And that will not accomplish what um, has been requested of having visual synth to react with different graphics based on different sounds incoming based on MIDI. Although you could do it, for example, on audio, but that is not that precise. Now, if you go to the second track instead, you don't find any uh, drill down, and you find only the top track for which you can add an instrument. So in this case, we click on the instrument and already used before Visual Synth, so we click on it and it will load. Okay, so double click on BS to open it up. Okay, let's maximize this. Now, okay, you might find a list on my iPad Pro M1 that sometimes having Logic Pro and Visual Synth is not the best combination in terms of performance, which is quite um, interesting. Anyway, first track, we say trigger MIDI. We ensure that that is channel number one here. Let's click play. You can see it is reacting to the kick drums, okay? So now um, let's uh, go to the metrics here 
and let's go to the radius here and let's change the radius based on the envelope generator here and let's test it a bit nice now let's go to the second track let's enable it let's double click here let's choose this one and this uh, um, this visual okay we go trigger midi we go to channel number two like so then let's choose something like um, again the size and uh, we drive that from the envelope generator Okay, nice. It works for uh, these there. Now let's go to truck number three. Enable that again. Let's choose a visual, something uh, like, um, um, I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Let's try uh, this one. This Cobit, really nice. Again, trigger MIDI, channel number three. And um, let's go to uh, perhaps um, uh, let's try um, the spread actually through the envelope generator. Difficult, of course, to say it because the hi-hats are played uh, repeatedly, but we could um, decrease them, for example, or change it. So this is one way that you can achieve um, driving um, visual synth using Logic Pro uh, for iPad. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.